unlike some of the previous super matches where john went into competition just because he loves arm wrestling this one is more serious this one is about victory john brising told engin terzi and i quote all i know is that i prepared as best as i could prepare for this my diet's been good my training's been good i worked out hard i have done everything i can possibly do at my age to be prepared for this it's all i can do we will know in a week i know in my mind that i am physically as prepared as i can possibly be now john repeated these things many times as you have already heard from me it looked like as if he was answering some questions some allegations and some people including me thought that john went into the competition just for the sake of competing just because he loves arm wrestling and if you can get paid while doing something that you love to do it's a win win bonus but this is the john that we all wanted to see a john that is really motivated and prepared to win of course nobody likes to lose but i didn't see john as motivated as he is right now to win in a super match at least not in the last 4 5 super matches so john further went on to say that last week he had flu and that's probably why why he cancelled his live stream with angin terzi now that's kind of unfortunate it is the third time now in the kidargali younger bhai match he had covid dennis plenkov match a week or two before that he had covid once again and now this time he has flu but fortunately this one was at least a week or 10 days before the event so right now he's already back to about 95% and he's going to be good in just a couple of days at 100% actually john said at 1000% he'll be in that good of a shape right now he has some sinus chest congestion the chest congestion is the final thing that is bothering him right now i think the sinus part is also gone so Engin said that he himself is going to compete in the and by the way full live stream link will be in the description. Engin himself is going to compete at East versus West 10 on November 11th. Now that is something interesting. And I think I know the opponent but I cannot talk about it here. And he said that John is also going to, going to compete. So John said that I will have to cut a lot of weight for that match. I'll have to go on a strict diet. So that shows that he needs to lose some weight. So what does that mean because he has competed many times at 105 kilos and he never talked about losing weight maybe he had to lose a few kilos but the word is strict diet it seems to me that he is going down further even less than 105 kilos i'm not sure who the opponent is or even if i am i cannot say that here so after that john talked about his thumb and why did i say in the beginning of this video that john is taking this thing more seriously than ever So he got some needling therapy, infrared therapy, some massage, some physiotherapy, and NAD. NAD is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. I don't know what that means. That's exactly now I know why John said that it's a really tough name that I cannot pronounce. I think it's really difficult. So that is some kind of therapy, and John said that. it is helping him right now because he said that in the last event there was a sharp shooting pain in his thumb when he tried to hook Dennis Plenkov and he just wants to get rid of that pain so now the shoulder is okay but the thumb is bothering john so that's the final thing that he needs to work on and so far this nad therapy is doing well so he's tried like five six different things that shows that he's seriously motivated to win this super match and not just compete there not just to go there and give it his all so there's a difference i think there's a difference in thinking that i'm going to go there and i will do whatever i can do which is also a good thing a great thing but there's a difference between saying that and between saying that i'm going there to win now that's the kind of mentality that i would love to see and we all would love to see from john brzink so he once again further emphasized on the fact that he is better than his 2004 shape when he lost to alexey vovoda at that time he was thinking about quitting the pulling john documentary crew brought him back into arm wrestling and that's why he was not in that great of a shape so bovoda cannot be as strong as he was back in 2004 at that time he was a 122 kilo beast right now he's 112 so and he has that gap because before then he was arm wrestling since like 1999 or something so he was into continuation back then but not so much right now he's not in as good of a shape and if john is in a better shape then that match can potentially look 
closer of course john doesn't have the kind of training partners that vovoda had in the past couple of months but i think with experience john can neutralize that he also talked about loading with or messing around with vovoda in the setup because he said that he is one person against whom i can afford to do that maybe john thinks that vovoda's endurance is not that great and in fact vovoda himself mentioned that in one of the previous videos john said that i need to stop alexey somehow he's fast he's explosive but if i can stop him then i can do something from there which wasn't the case against denis siplenkov or devon lerett if those matches stopped which they were going to stop we all knew that it was over for john brzezink but not in this one if this match stops maybe something can happen so then they talked about some predictions matt mask versus ron bath hangin said 51 49 john also said that hand is for matt arm is for for ron bath so overall interesting short sweet live stream with hangin and john brzezink and it's cool it's cool to see john motivated once again who is going to win more than 70% people are predicting alexey vovoda if you think those 70% people are wrong I'm also one of them one of those 70% then please let us know why and I'll be keen on reading your comments thanks for watching like the video and subscribe